Hello there. In this video, I'm going to give you the basics of EFT, emotional freedom techniques. It's a technique that I use for myself in my own personal life and with many, many of my clients. It's a great technique for getting into your body, finding the emotions that are trapped there and letting those emotions go. EFT can be used on all sorts of levels from looking into the past and clearing emotions and trauma from the past to clearing emotions that come up when you're worried about something that's coming up in the future. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use it for just noticing the emotions that are going on for you right now and clearing them out of your system. It's a fantastic technique if you are wanting to maybe speak up, set a boundary, say no, have a difficult conversation with somebody. But, you know, those emotions that well up and overwhelm you, perhaps guilt or feeling anxious or worried about how somebody might react. So in this video, I'm going to teach you the basics of EFT so that you can practice it by yourself so that you can overcome overwhelming blocks and emotions that are getting in the way of you maybe having those more difficult conversations, perhaps setting boundaries, saying no to things. If you want to go deeper with EFT, it's a good idea to work with a qualified therapist. But for now, let me teach you the basics. The first thing to recognize with EFT is that it works on two levels. The first level, EFT gets into your body and it finds the trapped emotions and it helps to release them. So you know that feeling that like you might have a pounding heart if you're feeling anxious or a churning stomach if you're feeling angry, shoulders get all tense and it gets into the body and it just clears that away. The other level that EFT works at is with the amygdala and the amygdala is that part, that ancient part of the brain that deals with fight, flight or freeze. So I'm sure you'll recognize those moments when you have fe been feeling anxious or, or worried about something and you get that either you get defensive, that's the fight, or you get the run away, you want to run away, that's the flight, or the freeze, which is the, gosh, I can't, can't think straight, I, my, my brain's gone, I can't, can't even remember what I was going to say. That's fight, flight or freeze. And the amygdala is the part of the brain that controls that. With EFT, what it does is it gets to the amygdala and it kind of just shuts it down, just, just soothes it down so that you can feel much calmer and you can think more clearly and you can then say what you want to say in a calm and more confident manner. The very first thing we need to do with EFT is we need to identify the emotion that we want to work with. For the example in this video, I'm going to say fear. But it could be anxiety, it could be guilt, it could be panic, it could be resentment, it could be worry, it could be anger, it could be any emotion that you want to work with. EFT will, will, will help you with that. Let's just say fear for the purpose of this video. So the first thing you do is you say, okay, I'm feeling fear. And out of 10, how strong is it? with 10 being really super strong, really, you know, really very, very fearful, and one being actually not that bothered. So take a number rating. So first of all, the emotion I'm feeling is fear, and the rating is, uh, let's say, eight. And then you say, well, where is that feeling in my body? Could be anywhere in your body. A typical example with fear would be in your chest, that you're feeling that fluttery, you know, that panicky, fluttery feeling. So we've got three things then. We've got the emotion, the rating, and where it is. So we've, let's say we've got fear, eight, and in your chest. So then you, do, you start the tapping process. So starting at the top of the head and very gently tapping about maybe seven times. And you say, this fear in my chest and then just above your eyebrow where your eyebrow sort of meets the top of your nose there that bit this fear in my chest and then the side of your eye this fear in my chest take a deep breath 
relax, and then under your eye, this fear in my chest, and under your nose, this fear in my chest. Just saying that out loud each time. Under your mouth, this fear in my chest. And then just below your collarbone, a little bit just below your collarbone, this fear in my chest. And then under your arm, tapping this fear in my chest. Take another deep breath and relax. And we call that one round of tapping. And then check in. You know that the feeling was fear, you know it was in your chest, and what number is it now? You'll very likely find that it's gone down a bit, might have gone down a lot. Let's say it's gone down to five. Ideally, we want to get this below to two or below. So if it's five, we'll do another round of tapping. This fear in my chest, 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 take a deep breath. There isn't a particular point to take a deep breath, you'll just kind of know, you'll feel instinctively. If you're not sure, just, just do it when you're tapping under your eye. This fear in my chest, this fear in my chest, this fear in my chest, and under your arm, this fear in my chest. So that's two rounds of tapping. So check in again. What's the number now? And it should have gone right down. I'm going to say it's gone down to one now, feeling much calmer, more able to think straight and be able to say what you want to say. Sometimes when we're tapping, we suddenly realize that this fear, for example, has suddenly changed to another emotion. It might be actually, I feel a bit angry now and actually I can feel it in my tummy now. So that's fine, you carry on tapping and you go, this anger in my stomach, 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 this anger in my stomach. Deep breath. This anger in my stomach. And so you work on clearing that emotion as well until you feel calm, and focused, and then you can have the conversation that you want to have, you can say what you want to say, feeling confident. Okay, thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.